Good evening YouTube. Uh, going to take a quick look at this switch. It has a 1 and a 2 as opposed to this other switch which has a z off and a on, a 0 and a 1. Whereas the first one is a uh, 3, 4 pole isolator, uh, 3 phases and neutral which could be used for switching on uh, ovens, dishwashers in a commercial environment or things like bandsaws and lathes in a workshop environment. This one has a different purpose. It can take one supply and send it to two different destinations, depending on whether it's switched to one or two, or it can take two supplies and uh, uh, swap them over to one uh, outgoing load. And, and that's how we're gonna be using this one in a future, well, it won't be a future video, it's gonna be a future installation in my undercroft. And if we take this off, I've had to loosen the screw to pull that out. I have done a little bit of work inside. So we have the. Ah, yeah, never mind. Uh, so we have a position number two, we have a position number one, but we'll start with number two. And you can see I've done a little bit of work here already. I've labelled uh, some terminals in brown and black. Uh, it would have been blue, but I've lost my blue sleeving. It's, uh, it's in the van somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so we, we've labelled three terminals in brown three terminals in black and those are the terminals that we'll be using in our final installation within the undercroft. We have a brown and in switch position number two the bleep signifies we have continuity and same with black. So we say black is negative uh, and brown is positive. Um, they've changed the colours so black is no longer negative, blue is, but black is a phase colour now so ignore that. So Continuity, continuity, and between that we have uh, on the brown no continuity on any of these other terminals except for that one. Same for this one with continuity there, but not between any of the other three. So if we use this as our output, and this is our input, we should be perfectly fine there. If we switch this over to position number one, you will find no longer have continuity between the top two terminals. Uh, but instead have continuity between the top left uh, terminals and once again uh, nothing between there, there, there or there, there, there. So what we could do is use these top two terminals as supply number one and supply number two and down here we would have load Oh dear, <laughs> you get what I mean. Uh, similarly, if you're doing this the other way around, you could have your supply coming in here and take your load off here or here if you're using, say, for example, one supply in a workshop um, but had two pieces of machinery. Uh, for example, in position number two, it would feed your bandsaw. Uh, and position number one, it would feed your lathe. Uh, this could be used uh, if, if you don't actually have the facility to install another supply or your at maximum load. Um, lots of different examples. Um, my favourite use of this was within a domestic kitchen, not domestic, a commercial kitchen, uh, where they actually had a hot cupboard here and one supply only. And on number one setting, it would power it here. Uh, but when the food was being served, they could send it to the hall. Uh, on number two without having to run an additional supply so it has got its uses uh, probably more workshop than anything else but also the off-grid uh, scenarios uh, well what can I say it's, it's perfect for isn't it uh, generators inverters uh, on one side and your mains on the other side probably more um, commonplace in America and, and, and in the States Canada than it is in the UK for that purpose uh, because grid power is all too common here but anyway uh, keep your eyes peeled we'll see this installed in the undercroft in a future video well it probably won't be video probably will be part of a video um, where it should have a long and happy life seeing as it's a 40 amp switch and they're only going to be using about 3 kilowatts yeah I'm all talked out 
So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. Please don't forget Pete's page on Facebook. Uh, it's on my main channel page. Uh, join up, give us a like. Um, you can have a chat with me. It's probably a bit easier than Facebook, com uh, YouTube comments. Uh, and uh, in two weeks' time, we should have our first Undercroft video. So yeah, once again, thank you very much. Cheers.